every one of us has a weakness when it comes to fear. Some of us are afraid of darkness, while others are afraid of ghosts and shadows, and there are people who are terrified of dolls. However, none of us can deny that the fear of the dark depths of the ocean and what's lurking beneath us while swimming is also one of the most common fears that humans have. I mean, let's face it, being stranded in the middle of an endless sea of water where there's no one to call and nothing to give you some hope is probably one of the most irritating nightmares any of us can go through. The vast expanse of the ocean, with its deep blue waters and mysterious depths, has both fascinated and instilled fear in the human psyche for centuries, and rightfully so, to be honest. That's why today's video will be dedicated to those who love and enjoy games that take place on the ocean or under it, as well as to those who are afraid of being lost someday in the middle of nowhere and want to live the experience of survival virtually. So enough chit chat, and let's just dive in. Okay boys, time to get rich. There's an ocean full of treasures out there. Don't come back empty handed. If you have a bunch of crazy friends and you want to settle some issues with them in the dark corners of the ocean, then this title is just what you all need. Depth is an intense multiplayer game that takes players into the depths of the ocean, pitting divers against deadly sharks in a battle for survival and dominance. It offers a unique and exhilarating gameplay experience that combines strategic team play, tension-filled moments, and stunning underwater environments. One of the standout features of the game is its innovative mechanics as players are divided into two teams that can include both divers and sharks at the same time. As a diver, you must work together with your team to complete objectives, gather treasure, and fend off attacks from the relentless sharks. On the other hand, the sharks are tasked with hunting down the divers and preventing them from achieving their goals or even running away with their lives. This asymmetrical gameplay creates a thrilling dynamic as each side must utilize their unique abilities and tactics to outwit and outmaneuver the opposing team. When it comes to pleasing your eyes, the game truly shines with its attention to detail and immersive underwater setting. The visuals are impressive with vibrant coral reefs, sunken wrecks, and even eerie underwater caves. Nevertheless, the sound design also adds to the immersion with the creaking of ships, the echo of sonar pings, and the menacing growls of the sharks making you always on high alert and anticipating something to happen. The game also offers a good variety of gameplay modes. Whether you prefer the fast-paced action of a quick match or the strategic depth of a longer round, there's definitely something for everyone. Additionally, it features a progression system that allows players to unlock new equipment and upgrades as they level up, adding a sense of achievement and progression to the experience. So I honestly can't understand what you're waiting for to get your hands on this game, especially if you're a fan of having some action underwater. When it comes to survival games that take place on the ocean with minimal equipment and hope, you probably know that Raft can't be overlooked. 
In this beautiful game, players find themselves stranded on a small raft floating in the vast ocean, which is obviously one of the worst situations that you can ever find yourself in. The primary objective is to survive and thrive in this harsh environment by gathering resources, expanding the raft, and exploring the surrounding waters. With every step you take, the story unfolds as you navigate through various stages of survival. At the beginning of the game, your character wakes up on a small raft with nothing but a hook and a few basic tools. However, the world around you consists of a seemingly endless ocean filled with debris and scattered islands. As you progress, you must utilize your hook to gather floating resources such as wood, plastic, and scrap, which can be used to expand and improve your raft to make it much more practical and useful. Crafting tools, equipment, and structures can help you create a more sustainable living space and increase your chances of staying alive for as long as possible. While survival remains the central focus here, you also have the opportunity to uncover clues and fragments of the past that can help you understand what happened and give some context about the events that led you there. Messages in bottles, notes, and other remnants provide glimpses into a world devastated by a catastrophic event. These fragments suggest that an unknown calamity has submerged the world and left only scattered remnants behind. But don't make yourself feel too comfortable because eventually you will encounter a variety of challenges and threats, including hunger, thirst, and the ever-present danger of falling into the ocean. You must also defend your raft at all costs from aggressive sharks that attempt to damage the structure and harm you personally. As you explore the surrounding areas, you may also discover abandoned structures, underwater ruins, and mysterious research facilities that hint at the origins of the disaster and the potential for rescue or escape. While the game does not have a linear narrative or a predefined ending, players can still uncover bits and pieces of the story as they progress and interact with the environment based on their own choices. So if you think that you might actually someday get lost in the middle of the ocean and you want to know what to do in that case, then I strongly recommend that you jump into this game because it's pretty much the perfect digital experience of what you need to do and also of what you might encounter. will be discovered. The food chain will be disrupted. And the drama will get deadly. Because down here, things always evolve. The hunter becomes the hunted. That's the one who took my hand, all right. Get yourself ready, boy. From the name of this title, you probably understand that it's about being hunted and trying to survive a wild monster. Well, if that's the case, then allow me to tell you that you're wrong. And that's obviously good news because Man Eater actually offers a unique twist by putting you in control of a shark and letting you explore an open world as a fearsome apex predator. While the game doesn't have a common narrative structure, it does feature a storyline that unfolds as players progress and cause great damage under the water. You start as a small baby bull shark, born to a mother shark, who is captured and killed by a notorious shark hunter named Scaly Pete. The general story revolves around the shark seeking revenge against Scaly Pete while also growing in size and power, and by the shark, I obviously mean you, of course. As you navigate the waters, you engage in a variety of activities, including hunting for food, battling other marine life, and taking on various human threats that can be challenging in many cases. Don't let the shark persona make you forget that humans are basically the most difficult creatures to deal with. Anyway, by consuming other creatures and completing objectives, your shark gains experience points and evolves, gradually transforming into a larger and more formidable predator that's capable of enduring harder obstacles. Throughout the game, you encounter different regions, each with its own challenges and unique apex predators to defeat. And along the way, you also uncover the mystery behind Scaly Pete's motivations and discover the consequences of human interference in the ecosystem. Man Eater combines elements of action, 
exploration, and RPG mechanics to provide an immersive and entertaining experience where you take on the role of a shark in an enticing journey, progressing through various stages of growth and development while seeking revenge and becoming the ultimate predator of the seas. But don't let the words trick you. Just because you're the predator here doesn't mean that you're safe or that the mission will be a walk in the park because you'll pretty much discover that the shark's life is harder than you imagine. But anyway, as a guy who wants to work as a part-time shark, this game is obviously something for me. Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to toss him now, ain't you? Shark Attack Deathmatch is a multiplayer first-person shooter that focuses on intense underwater combat between players controlling sharks and divers. However, it's worth noting that the game does not have a traditional story mode or a narrative-driven storyline. Instead, its gameplay revolves around multiplayer battles in different underwater environments that can make your energy go through the roof and busy for a long time. Just like in depth, players here can also choose to play as either a shark hungry to eat or a diver trying to survive. If you decide to play as a diver, then the objective is to complete various tasks such as collecting precious items or capturing certain creatures while defending against the shark players at the same time without losing any focus. You can have access to different weapons and equipment to aid in your survival, including spears, harpoons, and underwater propulsion devices that are very useful in case of a sudden attack. However, if being a diver doesn't suit you, you can always take control of a shark. Unleash your predatory instincts upon the divers and live the experience of being the predator instead of the terrified prey. Sharks possess unique abilities such as increased speed and maneuverability, as well as powerful jaws and teeth for attacking and disabling their human opponents completely. The gameplay is primarily focused on fast-paced, competitive multiplayer matches where you and your enemies engage in intense battles beneath the ocean's surface. The objective is to outmaneuver opponents, use the environment to your advantage, eliminate the opposing team, or achieve specific goals, depending on the game mode. Even though Shark Attack Deathmatch does not offer a traditional single-player story, its multiplayer gameplay provides an exciting and visceral experience, allowing you to engage in thrilling underwater combat scenarios that will keep you asking for more and more. So here's your chance to unleash the shark inside you and start hunting some food. This title is not a long story-driven game by any means or even a multiplayer battle that is designed for action and fast-paced gameplay, but it's definitely something that most ocean lovers and VR headset owners would appreciate. PlayStation VR Worlds offers a collection of short interactive adventures that provide an immersive experience similar to theme park rides. Among the various experiences, Ocean Descent stands out as a captivating and intense journey that takes advantage of the amazing capabilities of virtual reality and the beauty of the wild underwater at the same time. The amazing feeling of being placed in a cage and gradually lowered to the deepest depths of the ocean creates a weird sense of anticipation and wonder. As the descent progresses, the game introduces elements of danger, resulting in a thrilling and scary encounter with huge sharks that will probably make your heart skip a beat. The level of detail in the game is commendable, as the sharks appear so lifelike in a way that they genuinely feel like they are approaching you in the real world. The ability of ocean descent to elicit fear and leave a lasting impact on you is a testament to the developer's skill in creating a truly perfect virtual reality experience without letting any fictional elements overcome it. The combination of well-executed visuals, sound design, and overall atmosphere makes this particular segment of PlayStation VR World a special component that can be good training for all those people who are afraid of doing this in real life. So what do you think, guys? You have the balls to do it? Tell me what you think in the comments below.
this title is literally for all those people who admire survival games like Resident Evil and Far Cry, but at the same time, want everything to happen under the water or in the ocean because they love to make it even harder on themselves. Stranded Deep is a survival game that was first released in early access in 2015 and officially launched in 2020 for PS4, Xbox One, PC, and later for Nintendo Switch. The game takes place in the Pacific Ocean where the protagonist is stranded on a deserted island after a plane crash that leaves him lost and confused about what to do and where to go. The primary goal is to survive and find a way to escape the island by bypassing all the obstacles of the environment, but it's obviously easier said than done. You start with limited supplies and must gather resources from the island's surroundings to meet your basic needs and ensure that you will not be easy prey. You must find food, water, and shelter while also managing your character's health and vital statistics simultaneously. The island is procedurally generated which means each playthrough offers a unique experience with different terrain, resources, and wildlife that make replayability more exciting than ever. As you explore the island, you encounter various challenges and dangers that will test your patience, skill, and fast reactions. You can craft tools, weapons, and structures using the resources you collect, enabling you to improve your chances of survival. These preparations are very necessary, especially when you realize that you may encounter sharks, poisonous creatures, and other threats in the ocean surrounding the island. The game also features a dynamic weather system, including storms and changing tides, which further adds to the challenge. In addition to the island, players can explore shipwrecks, underwater caves, and other nearby islands using makeshift rafts or boats they construct. Along the way, you may discover valuable items, clues about the island's history, and even the remnants of other stranded individuals. The ultimate objective of Stranded Deep is to escape the island and return to civilization. No matter the cost or the difficulties, this involves constructing a raft or other means of transportation to navigate the vast ocean and reach rescue or any safe haven. However, reaching this goal is not easy and requires careful planning, resource management, and overcoming endless tests and missions that challenge players to adapt, explore, and uncover the mysteries of the island as they strive to survive and ultimately find a way back home. So if you're a good swimmer who feels that they're capable of surviving the dark side of the ocean, then this is obviously a task for you to finish. If you're an amateur swimmer who has a deep fear of certain creatures under the water, specifically sharks, then this game will obviously make things even more difficult for you. Shark Phobia is a unique and intense short underwater found footage survival stealth horror game that taps into the fears of galeophobia, which is the fear of sharks, thalassophobia, which is the fear of the sea, and claustrophobia, which is the fear of enclosed spaces. So basically fear is all over the place here. Anyway. The game plunges you into the depths of an underwater cave system where you become disoriented and lost without any means of communication. From this point, the challenge lies in escaping the claustrophobic caves while navigating through dangerous environmental threats and avoiding bloodthirsty sharks that are constantly hunting you. The game excels at creating a sense of dread and pressure thanks to its atmospheric environments and tight spaces, which will make you pray that this situation won't happen to you in real life. The combination of being trapped underwater and the presence of frenzied sharks adds a constant element of tension and urgency. The feeling of vulnerability is heightened by the found footage perspective, which immerses players in the first-person experience of the diver and makes things feel much more real. The gameplay generally revolves around stealth and survival, as you must carefully maneuver through the caves, utilizing your surroundings and limited resources to stay hidden from the sharks and overcome environmental obstacles. 
The emphasis on stealth mechanics adds an extra layer of strategy and careful decision-making as attracting the attention of a shark can quickly lead to a deadly encounter. Even though the experience is really enjoyable, the short duration of the game may leave some players craving more, as the intense challenge can leave a lasting impression. However, it's worth noting that the focused and concise nature of shark phobia allows it to deliver a concentrated dose of fear and suspense without overstaying its welcome. Visually, the game's environments are designed to evoke a sense of claustrophobia and isolation. On the other side, the sound design and audio cues further contribute to the immersion, with the ominous sounds of the underwater environment and the menacing presence of the sharks adding to the overall chilling atmosphere. So if you're planning to go for a swim this summer, then make sure to play this game first and get some practice because you don't know what might happen. Especially for those in Florida, you guys need to play this. I mean, Florida beaches are pretty much the perfect place to have a live action encounter with a random shark that appears out of nowhere. Okay guys, I hope today's video was informative for all the ocean lovers out there and also for the ocean phobes too. Because even though the ocean fascinates us in many ways, it will always remain a source of mystery, uncertainty, and fear for most of us who still can't handle the sight of its limits, let alone being in its depths. It's hard to imagine that someday we can be stranded in the middle of nowhere and the only place we can go is a random island surrounded by all types of threats with limited resources. So make sure to complete all your preparations before you go to the beach this summer or else we might miss you. Anyway, stay safe guys and I hope to see you soon.